Damn, yeah, place on 24 here, and guys, today we're, we're gonna be reading Deuteronomy 18, guys, from the new international version, also known as NIV. If you guys wanna go ahead and read along, you guys can go ahead and go to BibleGear.com, or you guys can go ahead go ahead and go get your Bible. I don't really care how you guys are gonna do it, but let's get started. Deuteronomy 18, offerings for priests and Levites. The Levitical priest, indeed, the whole tribe of Levi, are to have no alloyment or inheritance of Israel. They shall live on the food offerings presented to the Lord. For that is their inheritance. They shall have no inheritance among their fellow Israelites. The Lord is their inheritance as he promised them. This is the share due the priest from the people who sacrifice a bull or a sheep. The soldier <coughs> does uh, sorry guys, the sold shoulder Oh my goodness guys, sorry. The shoulder yes, shoulder, the internal organs and the meat from the head. You are to give them the first fruits of your grain, new wine and olive oil. And the first wool from the shearing of your of your sheep, for the Lord your God has chosen them and their descendants out of all your tribes to stand and minister in the Lord's name and always, and Lord's name always. If a Levite moves from one of your towns anywhere in Israel, where he where he is living, and comes in all earnestness to the place the Lord will choose, he may minister in the name of the Lord his God, like all his fellow Levites who serve there in the presence of the Lord. He is to share equally in their benefits, even though he has received money from the sale. Of family possessions. Oculate practices when you enter the land the Lord your God is giving you. Do not learn to imitate the detestable ways of the nations there. Let none be found among you who sacrifices their son or daughter in the fire, who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens, engages in witchcraft, or casts spells, or who is a medium or spiritist, or who consults the dead. Anyone who does these things is detestable to the Lord. Because of these, this is, and because of these same detestable practices, the Lord your God will drive out those nations before you. You must be blameless before the Lord your God. The prophet, the nations you will dispossess, listen, sorry guys, listen, will dispossess, listen to those who practice sorcery or divination. But as for you, the Lord your God has not permitted you to do so. The Lord your God will raise up for you like a prophet, like, will raise up, up for you a prophet like me from among you. From your fellow Israelites, you must listen to him. For this is what you asked to the Lord your God at Horeb on the day of the assembly when you said, Let us not hear the voice of the Lord our God, nor see this great fire anymore, or we will die. The Lord said to me, What they say is good. I'll raise up for them a prophet like you from among their fellow Israelites, and I'll put my words in his mouth. He will tell them everything I command him. I myself will call to account anyone who does not listen to my words. That the prophet speaks in my name. But a prophet who presumes to speak in my name anything I have not commended, or a prophet who speaks in the name of other gods, is to be put to death. You may say to yourselves, How can we know when a message has not been spoken by the Lord? If what a prophet proclaims in the Lord name of the Lord does not take if what a prophet proclaims in the name of the Lord does not take place or come true, that is a message the Lord has not spoken. That prophet has spoken <coughs> presumptuously so do not be alarmed. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to click the like button. And make sure to click the button to be notified when I post. And you guys, other than that, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.